Hello, parents and kids. How are you? We are in April. Uh, I can't believe we are still meeting online, and I think it's going to be like this for a while. Um, but I hope you guys are spending a lot of quality time together as a family, uh, having fun together, and just spend more time than usual. Um, but let's not take this time for granted. You know, let's uh, spend this time not just uh, for fun, but let's really seek after God through this time. Uh, amen. Uh, so uh, we have some uh, a new devotional. I, I'm not going to give you guys Bible calendars for now, um, but I'm going to give you this special devotional from uh, the new series called Level Up. Uh, it's an Easter series based on, uh, I guess, like a video game series. But um, I'm going to give you some instructions on how to do this devotional. It's a little different than our usual um, uh, Bible calendar, but I think this will speak uh, very loudly to us uh, during this time. So let's get right to the instructions. Um, so here is a letter uh, of instruction, which I will send it to you, but I'm just going to read to you so that it's more personal. So it says, hey, parents, for this super easy but meaningful family devotional, you will be exploring scripture from the book of Deuteronomy. This scripture will walk your family through four conversation points each day. As a family, how will we, number one, listen to God? Uh, number two, talk to God. Number three, worship God. And number four, love God. Okay, here are the instructions. So begin every devotional time by reading the entire, the entire passage out loud from Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4 to 9, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, take turns reading. Okay, so if you have two people, three people, you just take turn reading each uh, verse. Uh, your family will focus on a single verse each day after reading all six verses. Here are some ideas to help you intentionally carve out some time and develop a rhythm for doing the devotional together. So uh, a lot of these, uh, maybe some of these are not uh, feasible right now because you're not going to school. But you can actually do it since you do uh, school online. Uh, maybe you can do it before school uh, with a special breakfast treat or after dinner when everyone is full and happy. Uh, every Saturday afternoon for seven weeks, have an older child read the scripture while waiting in the car before or after school i don't think that's uh <laughs> feasible to us now uh sunday after church okay after we do online service or lunch uh or other ways just uh find some ways to do it uh so there's uh seven of these uh devotional uh i would suggest you do maybe two a week uh or i don't know three a week or uh, I don't know. Let's try to finish this devotional by this month, though. Okay, so let us know. Let me know uh, when you finish this devotional. And um, maybe you can email me uh, with any stories that you like to share. And I love to hear how it went. Uh, so I'm going to go into our the Bible verse that you, are, you guys are going to be reading. So it says this. Hear, O Israel. The Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. These commandments that I give you today are to be on your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Tie them as symbol on your hand and bind them on your foreheads. Write them on door frames of your houses and on your gates. From Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 4 to 9. And everyone says, Amen. Okay, so you'll be reading this every single day. Uh, the whole scripture, not just one verse. But you'll be uh, looking at 
each verse each day. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at the uh, one of the first, I guess, the first uh, devotional, and uh, hopefully you guys can kind of see how this is gonna be. Uh, parents, okay. Uh, all right. So the first thing you're gonna do is you read together the scripture that I just read. Uh, let's let's do the first one together. For example, right. Uh, today's focus is verse four. Oh, so the first verse. Okay. So you all read it again. Here, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Right. Um, and then it says this verse is a very is the very beginning of a prayer. And how does your family like to begin a prayer? Okay, then you can kind of answer that, right? Dear God, or maybe dear Jesus. So why not take a second to shout out or write down a greeting to God? So how do you start off a prayer? So you can talk about that with, a, with your family. And then it says this, A man named Moses was speaking this prayer, and he wanted everyone around him to hear what he had to say. This was the way the prayer began. Kind of like saying, listen everyone, there's one God and that's who we're talking to right now. It was a way for the Israelites, God's people, to pledge their loyalty, obedience, and praise to God for all that God had done for them. So now, as a family, how will we listen to god so how are you going to listen to god as a family so what is it that god is telling us to do in deuteronomy 6 4 so you talk about that with your family uh the next point is as a family how will we talk to god uh so you can uh do this prayer dear god you are our god you are our one god who shows love to us help us as a family to follow your lead to listen to your word and to remember that you are our God. We can always come to you and talk to you. You are with us. Today, each of us want to lift up these thoughts to you. And then each of the family members say out uh, any loud thoughts okay, or prayer that they want to share to God. We're listening to what you're saying to us today. And I, I would suggest you spend some time listening to God. Uh, and then third part is, as a family, how will we worship God? So there's a couple songs that you can uh, go on YouTube and just play and sing together, okay? Um, uh, you don't have to use those three songs, but uh, it's just suggestion. Um, and worship together. It's, it's such a great time. Like me and my family did it. Uh, we we praise together. It's a an awesome experience. It's better than just even being at church to to worship with other people. But as a family, you can worship God uh, th uh, through this devotional time. Okay, and the last part is as a family, how will we love God? As as how will our family communicate that we are ready to spend time with God today? Uh, how we see, no, when we see one another for the first time after a long day, how do we greet each other? Is that the best way? Okay, think about that. Like, how did you greet each other um, uh, after not seeing each other for a long, long, long day? Uh, and lastly is how should we greet God during the things we do every day? Okay, so talk about that. And then pray together, share it together, okay? We really want you guys to level up your faith uh, through this time, through this tough time, okay? So um, with that said, I hope this will bless your family. Please share any stories uh, with me. Try to memorize this Bible verse. Maybe you guys can read it as a family. Send me some videos. I would love to share this with other families on what you guys been doing, okay? All right, so with that said, uh, God bless you. Happy April, happy Easter, and I hope your family is blessed through this. God bless you. Goodbye.